angels and demons heather here with another speed paint video so my my last recording was me talking about my dogs and at the very end i talked about hamsters or something and it made me think you know what i might as well tell the story about my hamps about my one hamster in between cleo and sora i think yeah most yeah definitely it was in between sora and Cleo and Sora, we had a pet hamster. Her name was Hermione. And yes, my family is Harry Potter fans. In fact, one of the ide one of the ideas when renaming Maisie was gonna be Luna because she kinda did look like Luna Lovegood with her eyes just staring at you. But turns out if she was a Harry Potter student, she would be Huff Hufflepuff. Uh, <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm talking about, there's like this vet thing there's like this shelter in Florida that places dogs, depending on their personality, to their own little Harry Potter houses. <laughs> if you have a dog, I recommend you take that quiz because it's funny. It's funny. But anyway, back to the hamster Hermione. So I don't remember much about Hermione because I was like seven, like six or seven when we had her. Although I do know nowadays that what was the idea of my family of having a hamster when we lived in Arizona. Hamsters do, cannot handle the heat. No, no. And in case you guys are wondering, no, she didn't die of the heat. Surprisingly. <laughs> and yes, she did die. <laughs> I do remember that every once in a while, whenever we were so bored, we would put take her out of her cage and we would put her in her pink little hamster ball and she would just go all over the house, just drive... It would be funny. She, it would drive my mom nuts, but <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it was fun. Now, <laughs> the reason why she died was because, well, we forgot to feed her. Yeah, I I thought it would. I thought she died because of heat stroke. Because, well, hamsters don't like the heat. But my mom was honest with me and going, "No, we just forgot to feed her." And it, this does explain why we didn't get a second hamster. <laughs> Yeah, we're more, we are more careful with feeding our dogs, with feeding animals now, because with a hamster, you can't quite tell if, they, if they're out of food or water, but eh, you have to pay very close attention to that. But with dogs, eh, with where Tiger Lily's food and water bowl are, it's pretty easy to, it's pretty quick for us to tell if she's out of food or water. But moving on. So when... <clears throat> when Hermione died, my my older brother Benjamin had the idea of put of putting of using a coffin for her as this is going to age me. I I know it will um, to put her in a Bionicle case. Anyone remember Bionicle? I, I only remember like the one movie briefly. I know that there was a second movie. Man, that was a long time ago. I was like five when I when I saw the Bionicle movie. Uh. I know there were there was at least one, and I, I think there was a second one. I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments down below. And if you remember Bionicles, tell tell me what you used to do with Bionicles. But anyway, <laughs> so we used the Bionicle case to put her dead body in and buried her at the very corner of the backyard. A few years later, like I don't know, like a year or two, not that long. It's yeah, I was at least set. I was at least seven when we did this, and okay, yeah, I was five when we had Hermione, and this was like two years later. Yeah, I remember. So two years later, me and my older brother were just hanging around in the backyard, just wondering what to do, like the little seven and nine year olds we were. And then my brother looks at where Hermione's buried and goes, "Hey, let's dig up Hermione," and I'm going, "What?" <laughs> Inside, I was thinking, why do that? And he's like, come on, don't you, come on, this will be fun. I'm going, don't you want to see? This will be cool. And of course, me being the little seven-year-old, I gave in to peer pressure because he's my older brother. He's supposed to know better, but nah. <laughs> I stupidly followed him and he, un and he dug up the, the bionicle case opened up the bionicle case and he was like oh that smells terrible and me i saw the corpse and i was all like ah! i was freaked out just seeing that rotting thing 
Uh, the closest thing to describe it is imagine the in Fairy Odd Parents, t Timmy's journal right before his dad buried him, just all completely bony and just all like ah, only instead of uh, only there were like bits of you could see bone and the flesh was rotting like uh, like a bunch of mold and just if you guys don't throw up at the image of that you are incredible amazing yeah needless to say it dramatized me because i can still remember it to this day just yikes in fact now that i think about it i don't think she had any eyes either <laughs> we're all the story kids if you bury your pets don't dig them back up again and also this is probably a lesson that people of pet cemetery probably did not listen to about <laughs> i need to read that book uh i actually just checked out it just earlier today so who knows <laughs> i might be interested in stephen king now but okay thank you for listening about my story about my hamster and how in the end i got traumatized <laughs> have a good day my angels be with you